All right, guys. Uh, back again. This is what we're gonna. It's gonna be a hot day. We're gonna be sitting out there. Um, so the K24Z, right? The K24Z, the ugly duckling of the K series. It's the last, last of the old batch that Honda made. I think they were in the ninth gen. I believe so. Uh, they were in the ninth gen, and uh, people have them out there running around, and they're notorious for people not wanting to fuck with them. Uh, there's a couple reasons. Me, personally, the reason why I don't want to fuck with them is because that once upon a time when I was looking into buying one, doing some Google searching around, and something about being untunable or untunable for a certain setup. Now, obviously, that's not the case. It's not untunable because there are, out there are people out there making big power on these things. But uh, I just I don't remember the details. I didn't look it up again because uh, I don't really care that much. <laughs> but because uh, this video is kind of irrelevant to that, this is more towards the people who already have this engine and they're looking for modifications, right? Uh, another thing is with this uh, the K24Z setup is the fact that it's a single port. Like, it's the first K-Series, I believe, uh, or at least it's the first K20, K24, like, mainline Civic SI type deal they did that has a single port exhaust, right? So people look at that and they're like, ah, that can't make power. Or, ah, what the fuck is this? You know, like, so... Um, now, Four Piston Racing has been talking about this a lot. I've seen... Well, I wouldn't say a lot, but they've been talking about this head. I've seen it pop up several times in conversation. They have had this head... And they've put it work, put through work, and they've done the reporting on it. And so apparently, what they're saying is that when they port the the R40 head, I believe it is the R40 head, which is the head off the K24Z, the single port exhaust, is actually better flow than when they port the like the old school Type S or or TSX heads, right? Now, there's a video that they have on their Instagram right now that gives a detailed description of the benefits of the head and their different head options. I'm just going to try and give a little quick overview and then you can go to four piston racing and see that in detail. Cause it's like a nine minute or it's like an eight or nine minute video. Uh, I'm just trying to bring a little bit of light to it. And it's also is, I figured it's an opportunity for me to talk about the K 24 Z, which I've literally never done. I've always said, you know, kind of like skirted around it. Um, so the K 24 Z can actually potentially save you money because the uh, you don't need to buy a crazy manifold because the fucking the turbo bolts like right up to the fucking to the head or maybe I think that there's like a tiny little downpipe that you use but again the manifold that you or the adapter that you would need wouldn't be crazy expensive so immediately you're saving money on that like if you're going with this head and um <clears throat> So I've, I think before there's been people who've asked me if they, if you could do a head swap for this, and uh, I've just kind of been no comment on it because I never looked into it. I'm like, well, that's not the reason why I never looked at that block. I never looked at that block because of tuning reasons. So um, I, and I didn't know and I didn't care to look into it. So, but now I do know. Like, yes, you can head swap the uh, the head of a regular four port head onto the K24Z. Apparently, there's a little bit of discrepancy on the on the and the head though. Uh, apparently, the R40 head has a little bit more meat on it on one particular part. Again, refer to the four piston video. They show it exactly. And uh, if you do the head swap, you, the people have been doing, they said people have been doing like RTV and shit to try and make up that little, that leakage that you'll get there. Um, now, if you want to do a head swap and you want to go through four piston, uh, I'm, I would imagine, I would imagine that this is something that they potentially would be able, willing to do for you. Like maybe if you don't want to do four piston porting, uh, I mean, at the end of the day, there's still a, a cylinder head shop. I would imagine that you could send out your cylinder head, still get the basic stuff done to it, and then add this modification to your head to um, to, to be able to do the head swap. Uh, they add material to the older heads and then, of course, deck it again. So that way you could use the head as a direct swap over without needing to do any kind of fuckery to get it to seal properly, right? So if you want to use the head swap because you want a four port uh four port head for your k24z block you can do that you can do that through four piston right and um and so then they also have an, another head i i'm not sure if it's a billet head i'm not, I'm not sure i think they said that the head is 2900 $2, dollars once it's all 100 percent assembled but um again it's a 100 percent brand new head all competition stuff in there i mean not, not competition as in brand all high-end stuff in the high dollar ed, uh, items in the head and they don't require you to send a core for that. So just under three grand, but it'll be, you know, a badass fucking head. <clears throat> so uh, so if you want to do a four port head, but you're going, you know, to keep the R40 head, they have that available as well. So they have three head options that you can go. They have a, a the R40 Pro head, which is, you know, like ported the fuck out with the base, you know, the actual head ported out with all their hardware. Or you can do a head swap that they have a modified version of a four-port head 
uh, and or you can use their their head that they have this R40 before port. So um, yeah, so if you're if you're one of these guys that has this engine, you have a chance to buy one of these engines. I know that they sell relatively cheaply because people every time they see that that single port exhaust, they just kind of stay away from it because nobody knows what the fuck to do with it, right? But um, apparently you can still use this engine to good effect, and it still makes all kinds of power. Apparently they have a very big customer base at 4P for that engine for road racing. Um, so if you're somebody who has a 9th Gen SI you want to modify or you, um, or if you just come across the engine and you're thinking about, you know, you can get a good deal and you think about using it, uh, yeah, um, 4 Piston has solutions for it, but even if you don't go through 4 Piston, I mean, there are still things you can do to make it a viable engine. Now, again, I don't understand how the tuning thing goes for like older chassis or whatnot. You have to look, in, look into that one yourself, but, um, but yeah, if you're if you're a K24Z owner and you're thinking that this is a shit engine or whatnot, or you're trying to figure out what to do, there are things you can do with this engine. Like it's 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 good to use. All right, guys. So that's it for me on this one. This is a short one, thankfully, because the last one I rambled my ass off. Um, you know, I guess fourpistonracing.com, fourpistonracing on Instagram. They have the video there to go see the details. I would go now as quickly as you can because it's still close to the top. I saw it in my news feed, and so it'll be easier to find. Um. And okay, so my social media and my links down below. If you got any comments or questions you want to ask, ask them in the comments. If you're just going to DM me to ask me tech questions, I'm going to ignore it. My DMs are strictly for business now, guys. Um, and vhpages.com is in the links down there. So if you want to go browse, you know, general prices of what I have. Uh, of course, that's not everything, but that's just like the more popular stuff that I do. Uh, all right, guys, thanks for watching and uh, peace.